everybody and welcome to this tutorial and on this video we will be learning how to make our own thumbnails because I mean who doesn't want a cool thumbnail for their YouTube channel and their videos because thumbnails um, get more attention and attract more people to your videos I've had experience with this and I know it works so let's just get started I mean how do we make those? Well, let's see. First, you're going to need Photoshop. And one, Photoshop's not for free, I don't think. And two, it costs too much money. And three, you can get it for free on a YouTube thingy video on how to get it for free. Because that's what I did. I will try to find a video that helps you get it for free and put it in the description. But I'm not promising anything because it took me a while to find my own. And... It's really confusing, so don't try to ask me how to get it for free. Just try to find a video on it because I'm not the smartest person in the world. Anyways, enough blabbering on. Let's get started. Okay, first you're going to want to go to File and then New. After that, the screen pops up. And once this screen pops up, you want to go to where, width, where it says Width and change your width to 1280. And then after that, keep it at pixels. After that, you want to go to your height and change that to 720. Because that's the width and height of YouTube's thumbnails. Yeah, that's it. I hope I said thumbnails in the beginning. Okay. Anyways, um, you want to click on your paint tool. That's usually what I do. And see, it turned what? Excuse me. It turned white. And then, usually... This is what I do when I make my thumbnails. I go and double click this. Once I double click this, it brings up the blending options. And I usually click on overlay and look, it changed it to red. So, I don't want to use red though. I want to use, let's see, you click on the color to open this box. You, I want to use, let's try a blue because I mean, till is really pretty. And then you click OK. And once you have started that, you are done with your background. Unless you want to find a Minecraft background and use that. But I wouldn't really recommend that because it doesn't stand out as, be as best as a color. So you want to go to your browser. And I have mine pulled up. Then you want to type in this website. I will put it in the description so you guys know where to go. It's called Nova Skins. You say, click enter, and then you click on this. The first link would usually be it. Okay, and see, I've been on it already, so there's my skin. But to find a skin, you would go here and type in your name. I'm just going to type mine in. Whoa, it's Lana. That's my in-game name, like where my game name when I play Minecraft. And then I will click enter, and it should pop up. Maybe since I already have it, it won't pop up. But usually it pops up like right here. And you can just click on it and your skin usually pops up. But this is my skin. And I'm going to show you how you can change the pers the way the person is standing or sitting or holding weapons. It's up to you. Okay, and after you do that, we will go to a pose. Um, first, I usually like to do a random pose because, I mean, who doesn't want to do something random like that? It looks really funny. Um, she's like, what? What did I do? Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to click on another one. Um, that one looks okay. I'm just going to use that one. But usually, in the video, I am playing like a Hunger Games video, I usually have stuff that I'm holding. So maybe I'll have like a stone sword in one hand. Whoa, what happened? Just go back to another pose. Sometimes it glitches out. And then your left, or my right hand, I maybe have like a piece of steak or something. That's pork chop. Why did I say steak? Anyways, and I just click on how the video does. And then usually I unclick that because I don't like the grid showing up. And I go to photo. And it brings up this thing. See, most people could probably right, like, right, save it, right click it and save it. Which I can't. So, I usually go and I right click it and I copy image. And since I'm on Photoshop, all I have to do is hold down CTRL and V and my screen, it pops up on my screen. 
So, then I can go to the magic wand tool. Um, hang on, I did that wrong. Maybe I'm thinking about something else. Because I can't I can save it on Photoshop. Anyways, right click it and then save. Sorry about that. Come on, pull up. I think for saving it always takes so long. I'm just like, uh. Hello, save. Okay, there it goes. Get out of my skins. Hmm. I'm going to put it in my Minecraft folder. See, I already have all these. I'm just going to name it. I don't know what I'm going to blah, blah. And then I usually try to do that. And once I have that done, it should go to my downloads. I don't know why my downloads are being weird. But then I'm going to go back to Photoshop. Go to File. Open. And find my picture that I did. If I can't find it, then I'll just click on ones that I already made. Um, it's right there, but it's not working for some reason. So I'm just going to click on a different one. So... I mean, it'll, it'll work for you guys. It's probably not working for me because my downloads are being really weird. So, you want to go to this tool right here, the big X, and highlight your whole picture. And then you want to CTRL and C. So it copies it. Then go back to your background and then click CTRL and V. And it pastes. So, after that, you want your character here. In my uh, thumbnails, I try to make my character like as big as the screen because you gotta remember that your screen goes down to like what that on tw on YouTube or whatever. And then I'm just going to hold down Shift so it stays the same dimension and drag it. See, here's my character. Doesn't she look cool? I think she looks cool. Then I'll just go to apply and stuff. After that, you want to get the words. So, you go to your little word thingy where you put you type in letters. It has a, it's a giant T. And then I used um I really like I found this from one of the tutorials I um viewed on how to make um thumbnails. And it's called Comic Loud, and it's a really cool back uh, font. So you just type in whatever you want to do. I'm going to say Hunger Games, and then I'm going to just make that bigger. Uh, crap. How do I, okay, make this bigger. I usually make it as big as that so people can see it. Let's see. Um, right there. And after you do that, I make, I try to like, I don't know what I do. Most of the time I just take my character and change the color. Like, I, wait, no, I double click on my character. And then I go on to stroke and add a stroke. I'm just going to use white for her and go like that so it pops her out. And then, that sounded funny. I double click on my letters and it blink, brings up blending tool again. Click on stroke and I usually go to black because it makes it pop. And after that, you are completely done. That's all you have to do. Or you can put like a number, like put, um, I'm gonna make that smaller. It's really big. I uh, put episode one or something. And then you just move it around. I'm gonna make that bigger. And then click right there, apply, and then also double click over here, and click stroke, and add a stroke to it, because it makes it pop. Pop, pop. Anyways, after that, you are done. You can change the color of the number or whatever you want to do, but I usually keep it the same. Um, you can also add items, like go to here and add like Minecraft items. Take Minecraft. Uh, why my caps? Minecraft items. I T. I can't spell. Okay. And then it brings up a list of Minecraft items. Let's just say Ender Portal. 
you want to copy ender pearl so you're gonna right click on it and then go to copy image go back to Photoshop and then click then CTRL and V and it should pop up after that you want to click on the magic tool and then delete these CTRL and Z no it's CTRL and X yeah CTRL X and it deletes them delete come on okay and then you have full like thing of the inner pearl I'm just gonna put it like in the corner or something and then you can also do the outline of it and make it black if you want just to make it pop more and there you go that is how you make um, YouTube professional thumbnail I mean isn't it cool looking you can do it however you want you can add whatever characters you want you can add any items you can add numbers you can add different things it doesn't have to be hunger games I just do that because I mean I play hunger games most of the time you can also add your own art like you don't have to use your minecraft character but if you have your minecraft character people are gonna probably know that it's a minecraft video because I mean it's a minecraft character but that is the it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed follow me on Twitter to ask for questions or leave a comment below if you have any questions about how to do this and I will try my best to reply to you guys don't forget to leave a like and share this video with your friends, your mom, your grandma, your dog, anybody who has thumbs that can click a mouse onto the like button. I'm just kidding. Don't forget to share maybe and I will see you guys in the next one. So, bye!